Ooh. Hello? Hi. Hi. Matt. Hi, it's Sue and Tim. Oh. <laughs> it's the Mind Reels. Hey, guys. What's going on? You guys on? are the Mind Reels. <laughs> the Mind Reels. You know, it reels. It works on a couple of <laughs> Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> like that you guys are revolting? Oh. Or is it me? Who's revolting? It, it, no, it's no. early yet. It could be us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's still... How's it going, guys? But it's nice and sunny here, so that's okay. Yeah, we that's took the good. opportunity to come outside to talk to you, because we're like, let's get out of the basement into the sunshine. Nice. You guys are in Toronto, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were just... we Actually, we were just debating that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. is he in Ontario? Do we know where he is? Yeah. I'm in New York right now. Oh, dude. Where it's very, very... Hot. <laughs> <All of it. laughs> nice. It was, it was hot here yesterday, but today is cooled off a bit. It's just nice. It, yesterday, it rained here in a way that you can't imagine. Where it's just like the sky sort of exploded. <laughs> You're and looking for the it deep was so here. so hot. It was like the earth was sweating. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> It was disgusting. Maybe it is. I didn't even really realize hard. it happened. <laughs> I was inside, and then I went outside, and it was like, everything was wet. Everything was wet. Some of them because they were sweating. Some of them because they got rained on. It was something oh. I couldn't believe. It. <laughs> Anyways. I'm so glad uh, you and the <laughs> <laughs> The weather. That's the, that's the weather update. Nice. Well, let's move to entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Traffic. Just to That's catch up our listeners. <laughs> Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I can pretend I'm in a helicopter. Yeah. There yeah, you are. The, Thank the you. The Les Nessman move. Start pounding your chest. <laughs> totally. Here we go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you did. This is. Uh, you directed the episode of Real Side with Don McKellar. I did. So you got to go like a I did tripping. That, but I did. Dude, that had to be just a hoot and a holler, to put it simply. <laughs> Well, it was. I mean, I love those guys. Those guys, um, <laughs> you know, they're... Don and Bruce McKellar, right? Or Don, Don, Don McKellar, Bruce McKellar, McDonald. Bruce McDonald. Right. Yeah. Who's Scottish. Oh, Canadian. that would have been so awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I love those guys. I always love those guys. And um, they've been a big part of my career, so they very reluctantly... Well... Agreed, and then reluctantly participated in, in <laughs> making the <a little> film. <laughs> Excellent. Now, that episode, that's number five or number six? I don't remember. Five. Five. So five. Not that's... good enough to start the series. Mm-hmm. Not good enough to end it. Just <laughs> right there in the middle. <laughs> Just to keep people watching. Yeah, maybe that's it. There you I go. Know. I think it sounds strong enough to, to have ended the series, but, you know. But yeah, Don McKellar, man. And I believe McKellar we heard it was the most hilarious yes. of the entire series. That is true. Well, it's definitely the weirdest and the only one about hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Which none of us had ever done before. That's amazing. <laughs> so what, whose idea was this? My stupid idea. <laughs> I, I, I had, um, so I had edited uh, a similar series for the producers of, of this show uh, years back, and we always kept in touch because, as everyone will tell you, they're lovely, lovely guys. And um, so when they got this new, this this series going, they called me up and asked if I'd be interested in editing it. And um, I knew, and I'm sure they did somewhere too, but I knew that it wasn't going to be a straight shot. I think this took three years to get this whole thing <laughs> wow. oh, man. done. Uh, the previous one took about two, and because it's, you know you can't you can't just shoot documentaries and expect them to be finished. It takes time, and um, and so I said, yeah, I'll edit. I ended up edited the pilot, and, or the, or the first the first one, Sarah Gadden's episode. Yeah. Um, and so I edited that one, and I asked if I could direct one because I had co-directed for them before with, with Bruce McDonald. Bruce directed a bunch of the other series that I'm talking about, nice. and uh, and they said, "Sure, yeah, you could, you could maybe next season." <laughs> and, and I said, and 
and they said, "What would you do? What would you do? Like, what would what would be you know your your idea?" And I was like, I, mean, I was just like standing and looking out the window, we're not thinking about it. Like, well, I don't know. Maybe I could do do something like uh, you know, hunting with Don, because I always loved the, there's this old TV show, Fishing with John, um, and I, I loved that, and I kind of was just joking, uh, and then. I guess Raj, the producer, ended up pitching it to the broadcaster, and they ended up green lighting it on the spot. I guess because it sounded impossible, and uh, and then I had to ask Don if he would do it. And <laughs> Listen, a year, I, I got you into something. Uh. <laughs> no kidding. It's like, anyways, a, a year, a year, and a little bit later, I ended up finally coercing them to go on the trip. Um, and uh, and the episode is, is the result of that coercion. <laughs> Did it end any friendships? <laughs> no, no. I, it, I think that it ended any inkling that I might want to take up hunting, which I don't want to. Do. I, I never. I killed a frog. I shot a frog once, and I felt bad about it for a week. So I, I don't know why I decided that I thought I could go bear hunting. <laughs> oh, man. But. I did. I thought it would be funny. And then it turned out to not be bear hunting season, so it wasn't really a problem. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect timing. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) If I had known, it it would have been a genius sort of tactic, but I didn't know it was stupidity (laughs) on my part. But it just works. That just totally works for the feel of the episode, I think. Yeah. (laughs) It's certainly part of it. <laughs> Everyone avoiding participating and then just going on vacation together. <laughs> now, was there anything that you didn't want to lose but ended up on the cutting room floor because of time constraints? Oh, so so much. I have I have hours worth of those guys uh, telling stories about their career. I mean, the the real reason that I wanted to do it was. Um, that I I have a real affection for those two guys and their careers and you know last night and and Highway 61 and Roadkill are films that meant so and Hardcore Logo like those are the movies that I saw on like on TV growing up like on the movie channels yeah. growing up and those are the first Canadian films I ever knew about you know uh, that and Cronenberg movies and yeah. and so you know I have such fond, fond memories of, of watching those movies. And uh, and then when I moved to Toronto from Winnipeg, I I have, I got so lucky that I ended up working with them and, and building a career with those guys and being a part of, of, of their body of work. So when, when it came time, you know, to, you know, when I had an opportunity and they're like, do you want to, do you want to, do a thing about a Canadian filmmaker, I was like, well, those guys, mm-hmm. first of all, their relationship is amazing. Like, the, all the work they've done together and, and how it is to actually work with them is so special. So I thought I would love to actually, like, you know, share what I know about their career, which yeah. is just how collaborative and how, how cool and interesting they are together. So that's why I ended up doing it. And, and in that, I kind of got all the all the stories that I kind of knew, you know, like I kind of knew a lot just from like hanging out and drinking with them. And, and so now when I, when I got a chance to actually trap them in a moving vehicle (laughs) and put put cameras on them, I thought, okay, well, you know, I'm going to get those stories. I don't know how much of it's true. I have have no (laughs) idea. Uh, You know, I think part of the, Part of the narrative is the fiction, and, and I, it is all true. <laughs> Since they said it, it's true, and it's on TV, so it's real. But, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think that, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to do something with the rest of the oh, footage absolutely. because I have, uh, you know, there's an amazing, amazing story of Bruce. Bruce had a, tra- a grant to research Highway 61. Wow. Really? And there's this incredible story of him taking a train to Memphis and ending up uh, on the set of Jim Jarmusch's Mr. 
Mystery Train hanging out with Jarmish <laughs> and um, and Joe Strummer from The Clash and all oh my and God. that. That's really good. Um, it's uh, it, it, that kind of stuff, you know, is is a really it, it's rich material. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's like another episode's worth. At not least. even like extras yeah. on a DVD. That's like a feature. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to 